Many people claim that they had a revelation from God, but not every revelation is from God. That is a comment made two days ago and I happen to agree with what is being said here. Not every claim is actually true and this include claim of revelation from God or anything similar. Right. So when Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam claimed that he is a prophet now, he received revelation from God, then it can be true or it can be false. It can be a false claim, right? So we have to evaluate the claim, right? Is it true? What is the proof and evidence that this is truth? That you actually is a prophet of God receiving a revelation from God, right? What is the evidence? What is the proof? Similarly with, I don't know, um, someone called Paul, for example, right? And he claimed to have seen God or Jesus or whoever, right? So is this true? What is the evidence, etc. Right? So there are authors um, that claim that this is indeed um, gospel of Jesus. Then I'm writing this uh, with the guidance of Holy Spirit, for example, right? So really? What is the evidence? What is the proof? Etc. Right? So any claim should be backed up by evidence and proof. That would be my position and hence that's why um, I keep on asking for that whenever a Christian come across and says that, you know, the Bible says this, you have to accept it. I said, what kind of evidence, what kind of proof is backing that statement up where I should accept what it says so what evidence is this is truly either inspired by God or from God or revelation from God or whatever it is claiming to be, right? So as long as you have evidence uh, good enough to substantiate or to back the claim up, I can accept it. But until then, I, I keep on waiting for the evidence, right? So uh, this, uh, if any other book claim to be also from God, what is the evidence? What is the proof? Let's analyze, right? So that should be um, the common ground regardless of where you start from, right? What, whatever you are born into, that kind of, of, you know, seeking for evidence, asking for evidence, asking for proof, that should be the common thing across the board, I would think. What about you? What do you think? Do you think that is an, a, a, a standard that should you, we should all live by? Feel free to comment. Thank you for watching. See you next time.